Hello everyone, welcome to yet another daily market update video. Today the Nifty has fallen for about uh, 300 points and uh, Sensex nearly closed uh, 1000 points down. So what is the reason for the fall today and uh, will the fall continue and uh, is there any good stocks uh, that we can invest in this kind of market. Let's check all that. But before that make sure you are subscribed to the channel you are liking this video and sharing it with your friends. Also, please do join our telegram channel where we are posting instant news updates and also some breakout stocks and intraday stock picks. So without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, uh, as you all know, today Nifty fell about uh, 300 points. Uh, there are two, three reasons for uh, this fall. The first reason could be profit booking. The second reason could be RBI's monetary policy meeting. It is currently happening now and it is going to extend till uh, 10th of uh, February. Again, 10th of February is the weekly expiry for the options. So that expiry day might be so much volatile and uh, we have to wait and watch whether uh, RBI is increasing the interest rates like uh, what US is going to do. But in US, the US Fed has announced that they are going to increase the interest rates in intervals which they have already declared starting from March. But we cannot expect RBI to do what US Fed did. RBI can implement the interest rates right after the results. So it can be from April or it can start on March 1 itself. Whatever it is, we have to wait and watch for that. And also, I'll switch the chart to crude oil chart. The crude oil has been rising like anything for the past 50 days. Right from here, if I start it till this, crude oil has increased about 40 percentage in the last 50 days which is a huge amount so due to the crude oil increase our economy may get some struggles and uh, the vegetable prices and uh, other uh, food items or anything uh, what we are using day to day may get raised due to oil prices increase so we have to wait and watch uh, how the market is behaving for the next two three days and uh, especially on uh, thursday so let me now switch to nifty as you can see it started off with the resistance level today that is around uh, 17,460. it started exactly at 17,456, but it can't sustain the support level and then it broke down it also broke a minor support level that is around 17,380 but there was a buying pressure for around 20-30 minutes during 2.32-3 but still we have closed negative and this is kind of a very bearish candle and the next major support could be around 16,900 so if again 300 or 350 points is going down tomorrow we are going to broke that also so hopefully we are not going to break 16,900 and we can take a support from that level and we should move above so next is for bank nifty bank nifty as i have told in the last update video it was kind of bearish but i thought it could take a support from this level of 38,375 but today it has also been broken even then public sector banks were trading in the higher side banks like uh, HDFC bank and ICICI bank were on the downside still if it is falling more uh, we have to reach this level of 36,000 again and uh, from there we have to take a support and then we should move again so let us now check the global market what it is saying as you can see on feb 4th nasdaq was closed at a good range 219 dollars nasdaq was closed at a good balanced move 
the european markets are currently open now and it is kind of a flat market but sgx nifty is trading at 14 points positive which is also a kind of flat market so everywhere there is going to be a flat market if you see it was also a kind of a flat move if you see this 14200 was a good support or resistance whatever you say uh, it has taken a resistance at two times continuously on thursday and friday so we have to wait and watch what it is doing tonight and then we have to decide what we are going to do in our market the dow jones was also not looking good and it was kind of a doji candle on friday but still the previous candle was a red candle so if there is a green candle today we may expect the market to reverse from there so for faa and daa data as you can see both the faa and daa has been net sellers for today Moreover, the DAI has sold more than what FAI had did. So this is kind of indicating something that uh, RBI may come up with interest hikes. In that case, we can expect the market to fell more. So whatever trade you take, take it cautiously and with good plan, with good risk reward ratio, probably with the lowest risk. So there are about three stocks which are looking good for me the first stock is power grid if you see power grid in the long run it has been in the uptrend for about uh, one and a half to two years so it is also kind of taking a support today at the trend line which i have drawn as shown so from this it can reach up to the level of uh, 225 to 260 the next stock is Hindustan Zinc uh, as you can see it is nearing the resistance zone if the market is good and if Hindustan Zinc is breaking this resistance of about uh, 338 you can buy it around 340 to 342 it may reach up uh, the previous high of around uh, 405 you can have a 60 point move from there if I am not wrong so the last stock is Ambuja Cements. Ambuja Cements kind of formed a hammer pattern today. So from here it may have a good run at least uh, for some 40, 45 points. It is going to be good for us. So what is a hammer pattern and uh, how it works I have explained it in another video. I will give the link in description and an i button. So please do watch the video. So that's it for the video guys. So for tomorrow we have to sustain this 16,900 level. Let's hope to sustain that. Hope you like the video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe to the channel. And also join our telegram channel. Thank you.